we've been here for, for two weeks and uh, we have gained uh, invaluable time with a team from the US, Rico Hines, and uh, they have been really been key to polishing our skills as basketball coaches so that we advance and improve in our daily uh, coaching life. The ideas simply came from Rico Hines. Um, I know there was a relationship between um, the Federation and Rico, and he wanted to do something special. I know that they reached out, you know, and we were able to go back and forth over several meetings to try to make this happen. Obviously through the pandemic and everything else. Um, you know, really want to make sure that we get off to the right start and build something really special here. It was important to Rico, so it became important to me. Um, and, and although he wasn't able to be here, you know, it was my duty and, and, and responsibility to make sure that the camp still went through. I play basketball. I started ever since 11 years old, and ever since then, I've been falling in love with it. I've been playing basketball since I was 12. The experience has been great. We, we are learning more basketball. We're, they're teaching us very good basketball. We had uh, experienced coaches from the United States, and uh, they have been in this business of coaching kids, of developing the game of basketball at the grassroots level. So we have been able to gain a lot of fundamentals and the skills we can be able to impart in the kids as they grow up. So we have had incredible time with them. I know for a fact that this is, will be, you know, the hotbed eventually, right? There's the Basketball Africa League here, the BAL, and they host several competitions here. So why not have this be, you know, the, the birthplace of something special for Rico Hines and, you know, Rwanda youth. Obviously, of course, to educate the coaches, Right, we had a coaches clinic to make sure that we gave the, the coaches the content needed so they could become better coaches and help the student athletes. The second part of that was to make sure that, you know, we help the players, right? Really helping them and identifying what talent is and help cultivate that. So the purpose overall was obviously knowing your big picture, helping these kids realize what their big picture is. Obviously on the court, but more off the court, right? And we make sure that we in, include the mental aspect of it, because basketball is more than just physical, but also in life, right? Everything that we learn on the basketball court can be applied to in life. So that's the main thing, to make sure that this message is pushed out to the youth, hopefully growing the, the players to help in a couple of years be able to do something really special for their careers. But beyond that, from the big picture, right, helping the whole community. Everybody that participates in the youth camp should know what their big picture is, learn what that is, and how that can help them help their community when they're done playing basketball. We've gained a lot from this camp. Um, we've had great coaches to coach us. Uh, we've learned new new drills. We've learned how to shoot. We've learned how to dribble, and it has it has impacted us greatly. And hopefully, we'll become better players as we go on. The coaches are teaching us very good basketball from abroad. We're sharpening our skills, and we and we are they are taking care of us very very well. The training is not enough, but uh, we know exactly the situations we are in. So, so far we are very, very appreciative of the time we got, of the time we are able to spend with the kids and as coaches to just blend in and come back to the simple basics of basketball. So right now I see that we are very athletic and some of those things can't be taught, right? So there's some things here, skill sets that, that are here, but it has to be cultivated. And I don't think that some of the approaches have been the right way, right? So we have to break it down fundamentally and give them the right tools to be successful. So from shooting alone, right? Some of the guys came in and they needed to form, fix their form. So we gave them the four Fs, right? Focus, form, footwork, and follow through, right? All those things to just help them key points to help them beyond just here at this camp. So um, we need to continue to get better on our skill set, but there's definitely some talent here and you can't teach some of the athleticism and the gifts that are here among the athletes. There's some drills I learned uh, like like shooting with my with a form. We learned four, four Fs. There's a footwork, focus, uh, uh, there's follow through and they all, it all helped us to shoot. We also learned how to dribble with our footwork stuff. And uh, yeah, it has been a great experience. We learned how to pass the basketball and dribble the basketball. So I'm going to use them in my daily life. 
because they are three of the most important, three of the most important things in basketball. And with them, you can be a great offensive player and a great defensive player. Was it enough? It's never enough. Right? It's never enough. It's part of knowing your big picture. It's part of understanding that every day we're supposed to put daily deposits, put multiple days together, and that's how you become better with consistency. So I would say it's never enough, you know, but we're not done with our partnership. We're going to continue these two weeks very strong. We're also going to look to continue overall and make sure we send more content to the coaches to be able to give out to the players, but also make sure they understand that it's not a one-time thing. And we want to be here to help them as they continue to mature and be able to picture where they were, take a picture from where they were one year to the next year, so far and so forth. So, forth. so you know, it's never enough, if I'm being honest. We always want to continue to get better. I'll use these skills to become a greater player, the, also to become a greater thinker and to use basketball in my daily life. And hopefully I'll, I'll be a greater player as I grow up and play for the Rwandan team. I see myself playing professional basketball and getting a scholarship to play in a great college and hopefully get to play with the great basketball players in the National Basketball Association. Only some of us will become pros, right? But we'll become professionals in something else. So understanding what our big picture is and how we have got there, writing it down will always give us something to be able to look back onto. So now we can continue to apply that to our skills outside of the game. So I would tell all around Rwanda youth, you know, we're just getting started, right? Continue to work on your game. We're gonna work on the tryout process and everything else for the guys that's being selected to attend this camp. We want it to be a, a yearly event that is something to be looked forward to. In five years, I want to see myself in the national team. I want to make my country proud. I also want to play pro basketball. And yeah, I want to, I want to make my country proud. It means a lot. It means that I cannot take this for granted. I have to play. I have to play with uh, all my all my heart. I have to play strongly. I have to give it my all, and I'll, uh, hopefully, sharpen my skills and gain more basketball. This is two weeks. We're going to continue to build on, but really, we see the big picture of it all, right? How can we continue to help and build this partnership um, the right way and super organic? The coaches have been great high energy, the players have been sponges, meaning that they want to learn as much as possible. The energy has been great. Everyone that we come in contact with has shown a lot of hospitality and just really leaning on, you know, doing the right thing. So I have no quarrels. I love Rwanda so far and really can't wait to visit more. First of all, we thank the Ministry of Sports and we thank our, our Federation of Basketball, Fegwaba, because of this initiative they had uh, in tough times. So basically what we can ask is to have like uh, repetitive camps and uh, not only in Kigali, although we understand that we have kids from all over the country, they are all represented, but going forward if we could have more exposure at the district levels, that would also develop the game of basketball.